Right. Ready? Right, ready? Right, good evening, Development Committee, 25th of uh, January 2018. Um, everyone here is familiar with the venue. Does anyone need me to read the emergency evacuation instructions to them? No, thank you. Um, so, item one, apologies for absence, have been received from Councillor Mountain, who's been substituted by Councillor Mrs. Mason. Uh, Councillor Newport, who's been substituted by Councillor Otum. Thank you. There are no substitute, uh, no non-members attending. So minutes of the meeting on the 11th of January 2018. We've got the minutes ready to be signed. However, Councillor Hookway, um, you made um, some comments. They are appropriately in. I believe that the officers have been copying you into emails, and as stated. The rest of this matter is being dealt with, obviously, outside the meeting. Are you happy with um, that? Would you like to add? Uh, yes. I am. I'm on. Yeah, got me a little bit light. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Yes, thank you, Chairman. Um, yes, I have read the minutes. I'm happy with what um, is in there. Um, and um, as I understand it, uh, uh, when we spoke at the end of the last meeting, you said that um, it will be the February meeting that we're likely to get something back in relation to this yeah. matter. It's, it, it's, it's an ongoing process. I believe that, um, obviously, not connected with the, the accuracy of the minutes, but there's a meeting to be arranged with the, uh, the developer. And Mr. Stranks is in process of dealing with that, and I believe you've been kept in contact. But we're looking for February meeting for a, a short statement back on the progress of, of, of that item. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, Councillor Mrs. Mason. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I hope you can hear me. The mic's on. Um, yeah, the, the, I'd like to um, all have an alteration made to a minute on item 13. It's not that the minute is inaccurate, it's just not comprehensive. One of the reasons for deferment Yes, we can do it. We can do that. It's not a problem. Other than that, members, you're happy for the minutes to be signed? Yes. Okay, thank you. Right. Declarations of interest. Do we have any? No, thank you. <coughs> right. Item six, the only item that's with us tonight, the deferred item um, from, from last time, Halcyon Park, Pools Lane, Holmbridge. Uh, just a reminder that there is an amount of information on the addendum, and I believe everyone's had that circulated to them and seen it. Okay, thank you very much. Mr. Stranks is going to lead us on this one. <coughs> Mike, would you just mind clicking your mic again, please? That's it. Yep. Thank you. J just to uh, rephrase, Chairman, the central part of the site is in a predominantly residential use where the existing access is, and members can see from this layout that the applicants are in the process of expanding the recreational uh, accommodation on the site, and the proposal that was before members at the last committee was for a second access at this point here off Kingsman's Farm Road. And members were concerned about the uh, visibility given the hedgerows and things. We'll see some photographs in a minute. But members will also recall that one of the issues that has since been resolved was the uh, nature of the crossing into the site. There's a, a small ditch here um, that needed to be culverted and part of the history of the application has been that this 
uh, cross-section here, the Environment Agency were not prepared to have obstructed and the application was redesigned to form this sort of letterbox style uh, approach and that the area roughly uh, proportion into that roughly equates to the area there. So the, the potential for blockage, etc., has been overcome such that you'll see from the report the Environment Agency have removed their uh, holding objection that they held. Now, here is the revised access arrangement you'll see here. And if we go to the top of the screen, um, whoops, you'll see that they've included some swept path details to show that the access functioning with towed caravans. You'll see that uh, a typical vehicle and a, a, a touring caravan attached behind, you'll see that they've provided these swept path movements into and out of the site to demonstrate how the access works. Now after the debate that members held, and uh, you'll see from these photographs su supplied by members, looking at the hedgerows either side and the, the relevant visibility, that members asked for uh, officers to go back to the Highway Authority uh, with the request that did they actually appreciate the difficulties on the site. There was the concern that perhaps in this case highways officers had perhaps just relied on Google and weren't familiar with the site. Now you'll see on the addendum there is the letter from the applicant that rehearses some of the other issues um, to do with the site that was on the last addendum, but on the second page you'll see that the uh, Highway Authority have replied back to yourselves to explain the process and the dates and the timescales that went into their visit. You'll see that um, they uh, undertook a site visit on the 12th of May, given the age of this application, and then it goes in to explain how they approached that site visit, the observations that they made, um, and then a further discussion between the officer herself as well as the highways engineer, and that highways engineer has been a, a lead officer giving you highways advice for many years. And then they went on to check the collision record data, found no record of incidents, and then came to the view, which is the view that you have before you. And I articulated in my presentation that whilst I think members might be surprised at that recommendation, the highways officers felt that because of the nature of this street, which I think is giving members concerns, they anticipated <coughs> and saw themselves that vehicles were passing at such a slow rate that the prospect of, of accident or damage and, and hitting each other was greatly reduced because of these circumstances. And that's why you have a recommendation, perhaps surprising to some, that it, the development will function and work. And as the agent has shown with the, the swept path movements, um, and therefore the Highways Authority raised no objection. Now hopefully uh, that analysis that's set out on the addendum um, helps members and delivers on the, on the questions asked of officers. So to, to bring it to a conclusion, Chairman, the recommendation from officers is one of approval subject to the conditions set out in the report and you will see that those conditions repeat the specific conditions asked for by the County Highway Authority. Thank you. Councillor Mrs Hoy. Yeah, just turn your mic off. Oh, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Um, even though um, I've looked at this, and I understand that there are no grounds for refusal, um, and if I did recommend it for refusal, it would win on an appeal anyway, so I, un I understand that or whatever. Um, from advice from officers, you can't argue with a secretary consultee sort of thing because they always get it right. Well, they don't always get it right. So I would like my concerns um, noted and the fact that Essex Highway haven't produced any evidence of traffic driving slow down there. And that's all I really wanted to say. Thank you. Okay. Councillor Mrs Mason. Thank you, Mr Chairman. Um, my belief is that there is a protocol that exists between Essex County Council or inside Essex County Council that when they are 
giving a report on a highway situation, they should indicate whether they or not a site visit had taken place. And I think that was part of the concern that this detail was not available in January. However, as Councillor Mrs Hoy has said, there are no planning reasons to refuse this, especially in light of the additional information. Um, however, in view of the concerns expressed, and I said this is not a planning issue, but I do think that it might be an approach might be considered to the local highway panel by ward members for a speed restriction, which might alleviate some of the concern. That said, on the information that I have in front of me, and with the clarification that Essex County Council did in fact visit the site, I can only move this for approval. Thank you. Councillor Stapto. Thank you, Chair. Just a couple of um, uh, points that I'd like to make. Um, couple of, uh, points of clarification. Uh, adjacent to the entrance there, there's quite a, a, a thick and high hedge. Is that correct? Am I? Yeah. Is that in the control of the applicant? So it would be possible for us to ask the applicant to sort of cut that back to improve um, the visual access there? Keep going. That's the hook way. Thank you, Chairman. Um, <coughs> I'd just like to um, ask the officer, is, um, <coughs> I, I haven't noticed it in, in the uh, uh, report and as to whether it's a part of any of the conditions. Um, and maybe it's not something that is um, part of uh, this particular uh, process, but has the, um, Highway Authority indicated as to whether they'd be providing any additional signage to warn uh, traffic users of the, um, uh, the, the new entrance. Chairman, I'd need to check the conditions, but I don't, th I don't recall that being one of the recommended conditions. No, it's not. Councillor Stanley. Thank you, Chairman. Um, two things that come to mind at the moment is that uh, because of uh, caravans having uh, four wheels, two axles, instead of just the one axle, um, is the depth of that entrance going to be sufficient for the larger caravans, where I notice you've only got a small caravan, which is probably only a two berth <coughs> um, size. And also the culvert is um, what uh, necessary uh, safety features are you putting on the culvert for uh, children not getting underneath there and, and so on, please. This um, proposal is for a static site, so it's not, not tourers. I don't think this is registered as the entrance point for the, for the initial delivery of, of vehicles. Um, children getting under the culvert. No. Yeah. Yeah. Big enough hole. Great fun. Yeah. Great. Yeah. It's no more dangerous than the cold. Yeah. It's okay. We'll come back on that. Councillor Wilson. Thanks, Chair. Um, Councillor Stanley actually asked the question that I was going Excellent. to ask, which was about the uh, about the large size of the uh, the caravans. That was all. Thanks. All right. Okay. Chairman, the um, area you will see here, the, the dimension stated is 200 mil, so it's a little bit higher than that. So I'd say it's probably not quite as high as 300 mil. So that's a thought. 
height of a piece of A4 approximately. No, thereabouts. Yes, the mill. Uh, ju just a short comment, but I'd like to support the comments about signage and the speed limit, because that is a real common sense thing to have, uh, particularly with a caravan park, and, and you will in the summer months have kids yeah. riding bikes and all sorts of things coming out of there. I mean, it might be for uh, an appropriate member here to raise it at the local highways panel, I think. Did you want to come back? Final time, Councillor Hockway. Thank you, Chairman. Um, just like to ask the officer in, in relation to the fact that there's nothing would seem to be in the conditions in relation to additional signage is it something that the committee could request or ask for as, as a condition hmm. I mean the highways authority haven't asked for it I dare say the um, the owner of the site may be uh, inclined to indicate where that particular entrance is although whether there's restrictions with placing signage on the highway i think um the the, the appropriate place for that is is the highways panel to discuss what's there it wouldn't be normal to put that in a planning condition as such all right on a, a relatively simple uh, application we've had a lot of speakers and a lot of points raised already the um the approval is printed with its various conditions on page 6.15 and 6.16. .6. Could I ask that those members in favour of approval please indicate? Thank you. Those against? Thank you. <laughs> Okay. I'll just say that item's carried on that vote. Yeah, can I just, have, um, can I just um, say that I'm abstaining and I'd like my, my vote recorded that I've abstained. You, you didn't vote, so you can't. An abstention. Abstention recorded. Abstention then. Okay, that's meeting done then. Thank you very much.